Hey everyone! In this video tutorial, I'd like to take a look at the differential rate law. So the differential rate law is related to the kinetics of the system, essentially looking at how fast a given reaction will proceed. There is also the integrated rate law, but we're just going to focus on the differential in this particular video. So now the differential rate law is going to look at how a particular reaction at a particular temperature changes when you change the concentration of the reactants. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at the general formula for the differential rate law. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the general format of the differential rate law. So let's say that the overall balanced reaction is A plus 2B goes to C plus D. Now the generic version of the rate law would be that the rate is equal to K times A raised to some power times B raised to some power, noting that A and B represent the reactants that we have. Now the first thing you want to know about the differential rate law is if you wanted to actually fill in the blank for what is N and what is M, you cannot get it from this equation over here. The overall balanced equation does not give it to you. You'd have to get it from experimental data. So now that would mean then you'd get in these kinds of questions two columns essentially that give you some data. And from that data you're able to go ahead and calculate what the value of N and what the value of M are for each of our reactants. Next thing you want to keep in mind is this little k. So please keep in mind that it's lowercase k, not capital K. And the reason I point this out is capital K is used when we're talking about the equilibrium constant. So that's big K, and that's related to thermodynamics. This little k is a rate constant, and that's related to kinetics. So they are two very different things. So if you're writing notes, make sure you're really meticulous about which one's capital and which one's lowercase, because you can actually link the two of those ideas together. So now this here is going to be a constant for a particular reaction at a given temperature. So if you change the temperature of a specific reaction, you will change what that rate constant is. Additionally, when you're talking about the rate constant, its units are going to change. So the units of K depend on what the overall order of the reaction is. Now if you want a quick formula on how to do that, you can go ahead and click the link to the video in the description. So now, let's just say that here n was equal to 2. What that would mean then, as far as order of reaction goes, is that the reaction is second order with respect to A. Let's say that M was 1. I would then say that the reaction is first order with respect to B. If I wanted the overall order, that would be 2 plus 1, which would give me 3. So overall, the order of reaction is a third order reaction. The last thing we have here is the rate, and you just want to understand that the units for rate are going to be concentration over time. And the overall value of the rate is going to be specified for a specific reaction at a specific temperature and with a specific concentration of each of the reactants that we have. So those are some of the things you want to know when you're trying to understand the differential rate law.